Good day. My name's John Nichols. Today I'm launching a new YouTube channel and I will call it Humans for Nature or H4N for short. The idea is to show Australians and others what we Aussies have to offer in the way of in the field of renewables that we can punch way above our weight. We will have fun with electric cars, bikes, solar panels, home batteries. We will discuss wind and solar farms, tidal generation, pumped hydro, and those things that Australia has so much of, but could have so much more. I hope you will join me by subscribing and at the same time, click the bell here down below if you would like to receive notice when my next video is posted. It will be posted on a Wednesday, not necessarily every Wednesday. And why Wednesday, you might ask? Well, I'm on a five and two diet, and the two days a week that I'm fasting is Monday and Wednesday. So as you can imagine, I don't eat very much on those days. So to pick one of those days when I've got a lot to do, and I will have a lot to do if I produce a video every Wednesday or most Wednesdays, then it will keep my mind occupied and it will get my mind off those lovely things that um, we all tend to think about, uh, food and nibblies and all that stuff. So that's why uh, it's Wednesday. Now, each video will be about six to ten minutes to start with and broken into maybe two minute segments. By scrolling at the bottom of the video you will find an index of the segments for that day's video. This will allow you to pick and choose which parts you're interested in and would like to watch. Um, this is also where you uh, go to make comments and ask questions. Now, I drive a Tesla 3 and have just bought my third electric bike. The second one uh, I sent back after less than a week. Um, didn't really like it. We have solar panels on the roof and look forward to having home batteries when the price is right or when the government starts to give us a little bit of assistance. We have a problem with solar. Um, here in, the, we live on the northern beaches of New South Wales in Pittwater and, um, and there's a lot of gum trees right around us here. In fact, this is a, an ancient forest of gum trees and I love them, they're beautiful. But in the winter, they do give us a lot of problems with shade. So during the winter, don't quite generate as much solar power as I'd like. But in the summer, that's a different matter. In the summer, we produce more solar here um, than we need. Um, in fact, we make so much that we sell it back to the grid. Um, and I'm sure you'd realise that... Uh, if, if that's the case, and I'm only getting 10 cents a kilowatt hour for it when I have to pay 31 cents, I'd rather be using it myself. And that's what batteries would allow me to do. Earlier, I mentioned featured segments. Today, I'd like to give you an example of a segment. One I will call statements I don't believe. On numerous occasions, government, federal politicians and sceptics make the statement Australia is less than 2% of the world's CO2 pollution and for that reason we can't have any effect or make any difference. We are too small. I believe nothing could be further from the truth. For a start, if all the 2 percenters got together we would have, a, well, we'd have more than 40%. Secondly, 
We as Australians must influence the world, not make excuse that we are too small. Australia can make enormous gains enhancing renewables. We could be the envy of the world. It is our future. Australia's more wind, solar, spare land than most other countries. As Ross Garno once said, Australia could be a superpower in renewables. Actually, the most interesting um, and, and entertaining piece I ever, I've ever, well, I've ever seen regarding the two percenters, as I call them, was Charlie Pickering's piece on the ABC's program, The Weekly. I put a link below. It's worth watching. Really, really good. Well, a lot of my friends would think I'm too old to be starting a YouTube channel, but I feel extremely passionate about the problem of climate change and would like to do my bit before I leave this planet. We as Australians have a government that has too many sceptics in their ranks and for that reason is not doing all it can for the climate. But that doesn't mean we can't change their mind, does it? Join me. I will promise you a serious, fun and entertaining crack at this subject. You will never get me to believe we can't fix this problem. I hope you will join me. Subscribe, make comments, ask questions, and don't forget to, cling, um, to click the bell. Until next Wednesday, or a Wednesday soon in the future, g'day and goodbye.